Today I show you how you can fix your USB cables, USB C, USB A to USB C or USB A to U micro USB. This USB cable was broken completely. Look at the state of it, how it looks like. This used to be a micro USB and I cut the cable. There is really no point to try to repair that. It's really broken completely. It's a cable from Ikea. USB 2.0 charging cable basically when I remove this cloth cover the cloth cover is pretty nice actually I use the lighter to make it so it doesn't get frayed too much I have this USB C connectors really nice I had them for a really long time I mean a really long time so much that the parts the plastic parts are broken and those yeah you see it's a bit they had a bit of some kind of a plastic housing, but it didn't really feel sturdy, solid. And I decided that um, even though they don't look solid, I could still use them. And I would use just the connector. It has the resistors array to be able to charge with full power. It's even it's doing fast charging on Xiaomi phones. Ground, digital plus, digital minus, and red the vcc five plus five volts the red cable and the black one are the power ones they are also usually more thick in this cable they are a bit more thick these are uh, it's important not to cut the wires so that pieces of them come out i kind of didn't really cut it uh, perfectly but i couldn't find the tool for it so i had to do like this Pin 1 from left should be black. It's black. Last pin on the right should be V, v plus. Voltage should be red. Middle left. It's the green one green and middle right it's gonna be the white one okay I will put the picture now power minus the black black red and then middle left green and middle right white the middle cables, the D- minus and D+, plus, are the signal cables and they are thinner. They don't need to be very thick because there's not much power going through them. It's only for signaling. The charging happens through the black and red wires. They have to be uh, as good as possible not to remove too many of those uh, strands from them. First ground. Plus... Minus. The idea is, that. however the outer cables are arranged, the inner cables are reversed. So left is negative. Black is ground, green is D+, plus, white is D-, minus, red is VCC. Red VCC means it's plus 5 volts. The positive side of the charging charging cables. And it is a bit fiddly here because it's the, these contacts are not very large. But if you have uh, used flux, it's really useful to use flux and also good soldering thin thin solder. And you can get it working. It's important that you check the cables that they are connected on the USB A side, even if it's the same cable brand, if it's the same IKEA. It's important to also check that there are no shorts between these terminals when you use the multimeter between them with the resistance there should be no no beeping no uh, direct uh, connection between these four cables try it with something simple first before when you try it the first time it's good to use it on something that's not expensive in case it's broken okay this one seems to be working charging works but I have to check the signaling also. 
even quick charge. Yeah, the quick charge works. I'm, I was surprised that it works actually, but the power bank supports it. So I didn't try to do a file transfer through it, but I'm sure it's working because I checked it with the multimeter. And now it's time to use the hot melt glue using applying hot melt glue around it because I didn't use the case. Also putting hot melt glue on the sleeve, this outer sleeve to keep it there. Wait until the hot melt glue, hot melt glue gets dry not dry but cools down and try not to touch it the less you touch it the nicer it will look like it doesn't really matter how it looks like but yeah <laughs> look how i ruined my desk mat right there yeah you could clean the cable i cleaned it with isopropyl alcohol after doing this before using it just to keep it nice and uh, tidy from all the flux and the soldering and i'm using my swiss army knife now i always every chance i get to use that i will use it now you have to bear with that uh, i removed the hot melt glue from the connector side you see i cut both sides and the idea is that it goes into the charging port easy like this. It can go in the port without cutting this, but I thought, why not make it nice? I mean, it's already doesn't look very good, but it's working. It's a cable now. I can use it. And the USB-C cables, the charging cables, you can never have too many of them. And actually, this is also a data cable now. It will not be a fast data cable because this cable is from IKEA. IKEA, they are USB 2.0. And anyway, the connectors I had, they were 2.0. The difference between USB 2.0 and 3.0 and up is the 3.0 has extra connectors. This didn't have it. It only has four. So yeah, but it's fine for me. It's a great charging cable other than this broken edge the broken connector the cable is great i mean these cables are really actually they're very cheap so when you buy one you need one or two buy three or four just in case but yeah this cable instead of throwing it away i thought why not fix it now i have an extra cable i already use it i charge the phone with it my old phone not the new phone on the new phone i use the good cable just to be sure thanks for watching yeah that's that's pretty nice yeah i wouldn't use this on, on my new phone or really expensive tools gadgets but on simple devices it's easy to use it